Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Ward's adventure in Kerbal Space Program. So, I played already a half an hour of this and recorded it, and OBS crashed on me and uh, lost the footage. So, here we are again. So, basically, what I did is I accepted a couple missions here. I accepted uh, this one, the Test LV T45 Swivel Liquid Fuel while splashed down. Mm -hmm. And then we also have to test this, um, yeah, the, the radial mount parachute as well. So, we're going to do that. I already built a ship. Um, you missed how I did all of that. Unfortunately, ooh, let's go load. Um, here we go. This bad boy. Load this one up. This is our rocket. Okay. So... Yeah, so th this thing has 23 pieces at the moment and handles quite nicely. So I'm going to actually add on another parachute here for this module right here because of what happens after always. So we'll just slap that right there. So now, yeah, decouple and do parachute. Okay, so we have the first stage of the rocket that will burn. I actually want to add one more to this. One more solid or liquid fuel tank. And put this uh, 168. This is the better one. The LV Reliance. And then these ones. Do we only have three on there? Three seem to work really nicely. Almost better than four. So I'm going to just put three right here throw that one back there okay and these ones we can actually turn into just three three like this like that perfect that sh should help with everything oh actually no this won't help with everything um i almost need to do it like this I almost need to do it like that. That, I think, is what will work. Well, if not, then we're screwed. So hopefully, this will do the trick. So first stage, once it's done, we separate. We trigger this next stage. Nah, see? We need to add one of these. We need to put this stage in here. So this will cause us to splash down. Splash down. We'll launch we'll trigger this and then once the test conditions met we can you decouple and do this this thing I think should also have the thrust um, I'm gonna right click on it the thrust is limited to 10% here so uh, I basically just right click on this part set it to 10 so if we're at a hundred percent thrust only 10% will be used of that one so we can also limit the fuel in here if we wanted to control how long it would burn for so it's kind of do about the same mix and yeah so let's hit save and launch and let us do this let's launch this and complete these two missions man the last you know episode of the last 30 minutes you would have been amazing and you would have had a great time but unfortunately this is what we have to do so i'm going to have this up here this i know we're going to do no big deal this i need to make sure we achieve so I'm basically going to go towards the 90 degree angle here and we're going to go over the ocean. So I'm going to trigger this. Off we go and I'm going to make sure that we're always under the this thing here. Uh, okay. Not sure why it's kind of curving funny. Oh, okay. Let's Keep it about 45 degree angle. No, no, no. It's not behaving like I want. Not behaving like I want. Can we reduce thrust? Why is it not... It's not uh, operating. It's, I have no control over this. It's so weird. I'm going to revert flight. I go back. Uh, revert to vehicle assembly. Weird. I wonder why. Is it because these bad boys? 
just three's not good enough. So let's grab these and put four in line. Do that. Grab these. Make sure we have four up here as well. Like that. Okay, that should be no different, right? This might be creating some drag. I didn't think about that. So actually, so we only need to test one. Okay, so let's actually scrap this piece. Uh, these are two of them, right? So let's actually take only one of them. Um, I'm up here. Uh, but we want two, because two will slow us down enough, and we want another one. So, shoot. Maybe what we can do is stick the parachute on this part back here. So, um, we'll go one piece, and maybe on this part right here. Kind of be aerodynamic, kind of not. It's better than up here. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so this will be... Uh, this module up here can break apart. Okay, I think we'll be okay. So the first module, the first thing we'll fire will break apart. These will trigger. We hit the water, we can fire this. Then we can use this to get back down safely. Save. Now launch. Now this better be it right better make it here through this if not i'm not sure what i'm doing wrong okay here we go let's launch Ooh, trying to turn okay see notice how it's it's rotating off a little bit funny okay let's we'll have to kind of kind of control it ourselves. I'm not sure why it's doing this. There we go. Just need to get to the 4,000 mark. I'm fighting against something that's pulling on the ship. So let's open this up. So we need to make sure that we get to 4,000 feet before we deploy anything. Brutal. Uh, we're gonna make it. We got fuel, so we just need to make it between 4,000 and 11,000. Okay, beautiful. No, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. Bad, 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 bad. Okay, oh. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 4,000. Okay, beautiful. It's kind of... Let's, uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, launch that off. And we're stuck to the bottom of it. <laughs> so it's going to catapult us to crazy speed. There we go, off it goes. Okay, and we need to make sure we're in the water. That looks good. So it must be that parachute pack that is doing it. So we're just just kind of go, uh, going along, trying to keep the ship kind of straight. That one parachute's giving it drag, I think. So once we get the speed between 60 and 170, we'll deploy the these things so come on come on come on okay what's going on here I'm going to actually deploy this fairly quickly here so that way it can kind of slow us down Woo! okay perfect perfect we should make it into the uh, the water here let's line up with the the retrograde and perfect okay that was an amazing launch so this should have worked. Test. I did test. So, so do we have to launch this one too? Uh, 
Oh, come on. Why is this spinning? Turn the SAS on. Why is this not um, accomplished? We're within the right parameters. Oh, shoot. We're fucked. Okay, no. Now that works. That's retarded. So let's go revert flight. Revert to launch. So that did not work. Why did that not? You trigger. I noticed the missions are supposed to trigger sometimes, but don't. Shouldn't matter. We just need to test one. These are the ones we're going to test. These are the radial mount. So it's going to decouple. Yeah, okay. So come on. So... So this didn't work, this launch. So can we actually revert? Let's go revert flight. And oh, we can't. Okay, let's do this. Let's let's do this. Let's try this again. Here we go. Here we go. Off we go. Just need to go up, basically, and to the side a bit. Pull back on it now. You now and okay, good. It's almost like making little corrections, right? Um, shoot, 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 shoot. Come on, come on, come on. Get back. Get back. Yeah. No, no. It's, no, no. Look at it. It's pulling, it's pulling, it's pulling. Um, come on, come on. Let's see if I can use this to twist it back. Ah, this is going to be a terrible launch. For some reason, I don't have control. It's so weird. Come on, come on. We just need to... Come on. Shit. Come on, come on. I need to keep it going up keep it going up come on come on yay 4,000 okay speed 6270 meters per second Decouple that. Okay, now it should still be going up. So let's make sure that once that speed is done, we will test it. Speed's dropping. Beautiful. Okay, uh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, now we're slowly going to drop. Oh, come on, come on. Six, five, four, three, two, one, seventy. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Good. Whew. Okay, that one's done. We got a lot of this debris that's lying everywhere in the water. <laughs> okay, cool. So now that will slow us down. Uh, we're flying kind of in hard, but that's okay. Um, Try and turn this around like this. Can we rotate? Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, maybe just let go of it. Yeah, why is it doing that? I wonder why. No big deal. Just need to land in the water, so that is good. Whew, okay, let's time speed this up. So we should be okay all the way down. Kind of not pressing anything. This sh so these should open up, and we should slow down. I'm not sure what height. Um, I'm gonna s there we go. And I think we can keep going until 400. Beautiful, beautiful. So this is the, the mishaps you can have in kind of Kerbal space program. And then you need to kind of try 
and push past the mishaps and yeah yeah so this ship worked out quite nicely so far as soon as we land here we're, I'm gonna see how well the rest of it will work and we have the extra parachute on just in case plus we only have 10% thrust so I don't feel that that will be an issue whoa this is hard that's hard it felt like it landed hard but now we're in the water so now can we can we do the observed materials bay no we don't need anything can we do um, crew a crew report here no we don't need that can we do observe mystery goo here no don't need that no science okay so now we're going to trigger the next this thing which is tested right I can just and then we can yeah that's it I think we're done so now let's recover the vessel and we're good to rock and roll boom we completed the two missions after some trial and error it took me about 45 minutes real time but for you guys it didn't take quite that long we got only a little bit of science because we didn't really gather any data unfortunately this one was more of a mission completion quest which is why we did it so for example right here we got the rewards and the rewards so let's go check out another mission here and then this is what we'll do for the next time um, these ones are, are best done if you have pl a, a plane we're not quite there yet um, flea solid booster so we need to launch this one we're up here in this area so we'll figure that out sometime mm -hmm, mm -hmm. test the j3 juno basic jet engine that's cool uh stack decoupler splash down i thought we did this one already we can lo load the other sh ship we had um, launch stability enhancer at the launch site do we have that Test the heat shield. Uh, we need to be up higher. Mark 16 parachute. We could do this again. This would be a different one. Uh, the thud liquid fuel engine orbiting Kerbin. Kerbin orbit. Uh, okay. So we have a problem. <laughs> so we have. Uh, so let's go back out here. Go to here. We need to do something for research. Because we need to buy one of these other basic science uh, does this have a jet engine Juno basic jet engine see so we're behind in the science so we need to do something that's going to deal with science so let's let's check this out I'm not sure if we have anything that can move around on the ground you know, yet per se but let's take a quick peek at all that and we'll go from there so yeah, I don't have anything. It's all just rocketry stuff. So I tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out how to build some science up here for the next episode, and then we shall record that. So hopefully you've all enjoyed this episode. I know I've enjoyed trying to make it. The third time's a charm here. This one might be short, but hey, this is the way it goes. So thank you everybody for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye bye.